Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. I hope everybody's doing good. Today's Friday, September 3rd. Currently it's 60 degrees. High today's 81. No chance of rain. Humidity is 83% right now. No wind and air quality is 59. That's moderate. So, I can't get going this morning, y'all. I don't know what it is. I just can't get going. Get some more coffee there. Hello, everyone. Looking good in here. This uh, cactus is just so awesome. This little one here is cute. Get a little bit more sun today. Spiders made a web all over the place there. Got an okra. Well, I'm going to need to plant by, I think some of them I need to plant by the 5th, some of my fall seeds. If you haven't seen it yet, I did a little preview of my fall and spring seeds yesterday. So you can see what I'm going to be planting. These are looking good still. Lots of them. I need to pick some of them, I guess, soon. I got some okra yesterday, but I need more before we can do anything with it. I got several growing here. There's more flowers, it looks like, too, going to be coming out. <coughs> Some more Neapolitans. Several. Quite a few of them down through here. This is about ready to get. These will turn yellow right here. I don't know what color these will be. Some of them seem like some of them turn red and some of them turn green on the same plant. I don't know. Or maybe they just turn red after they've been green for a while. Well, nothing's been digging around in here or using it for a litter box. There's a flower. Boy, those just keep growing out there. 
I wonder when they'll ever have flowers on them. Something else. So not much to look out out here right now, but I'm gonna be planting those seeds pretty soon. It looks like some of those flowers are still blooming, I guess, because it's colder out. Some more marigolds. This is what these will look like. Yeah, since it's not as cold, some of these are still, I mean, since it's not as hot, some of these are still bloomed. Isn't that, isn't that nice? Yeah, usually they'd be droopy by now. Some nice foxglove. Feels good out here though. Some ducks. I'm thinking the hawk must be around somewhere. There's no birds out over here on the uh, feeder. feeders. I was gonna get some uh, bird seed at Kroger, but they were out. All they had was the super expensive stuff. I'll have to wait and see if they ever get any. Okay, let's see. Last night we had uh, hot dogs and fries. I made a short if you'd like to see the video. Is delicious. Those, uh, I think they're called loaded nacho. They're ballpark hot dogs, and they were just great, y'all. They were really good. Tonight, Logan wants sloppy joes. I had some uh, ground turkey that we got at Kroger the other day. I had a 70 cent off coupon, and uh, he wants some sloppy joes tonight. And we still got some slaw from that food truck uh, that was so good. Guess we'll have that with it and something else. 
I've got an Aldi haul where we went yesterday to get this, some of the stuff for the hot dog today. And Logan's awesome snack reviews will be tonight. Okay. The giveaway that I've got going on right now, I'm going to be giving away the prize uh, Sunday. And it's the hashtag Jeff's Jerky Giveaway. The rules are you must be a subscriber. You must be 18 years old or older to enter. YouTube doesn't have anything to do with my giveaways. It's only available in the United States. In your comment, put hashtag Jeff's Jerky Giveaway, all one word, to be entered. Prize is one pack of original Jeff's Famous Jerky, a pair of earphones, and a bumper sticker. And... I've got a couple things I'm going to be adding to it. Um, I got yesterday. One is a little, oh, they call it a tea ball. It's a little stainless steel thing you can put tea in to, to brew tea in your cup. You know, and you dip it down in there, you know, put it down in there. And you can use that uh, for making infused oil. You put your herbs or your like garlic or whatever, peppercorns, whatever you want inside of the tea ball. And then you um, dip it down, you know, put it, submerge it down in a bowl of oil. And then once a day, you pull it up and let it drip, you know, let it drip down in there and then stir it. Do that for three days and you'll have you some great infused oil. So, uh, they sent me some of those, so I'll be uh, including one of those, and I'll be including, um, they sent some emergency whistles that would be good to have on your keychain. So I'll, I'll throw one or two of them in there, and yeah, a few little, a few little more things to add to it. Um, I'll put their website in the description and the discount code uh, is 10 off to get 10% off through the end of September if you decide you'd like to order something through their website. So join, time's running out. If you haven't joined, I mean, have, if you haven't entered, please do so you can have a chance to get all that good stuff. It'll be the best beef jerky you ever tried, let me tell you. So let's see, now I guess it's time for today's tidbits. on this or something. That's not the one. Set dog. Okay. One half of earth cools faster than the other. One half of the earth containing the Pacific Ocean is losing heat at a more rapid rate than the other half. That includes Africa, Europe, and Asia. This is because the land is a better insulator than water. The entire Pacific Hemisphere is covered with more ocean, and hence most of the heat the earth loses dissipates through the oceans. Hmm. Heavy rain prompts New York to declare a state of emergency. New York Governor Kathy Hochul declared a state of emergency early Thursday as the northeast region was hit by torrential rain induced by the remnants of Ida. Heavy flooding and numerous water rescues were reported as well. NWS urged people to stay off the roads and all subway lines are suspended due to the flooding. A lake where salt and fresh water coexist. 
Barracuda Lake is situated on the north shore of Coron Island in Palawan, Philippines. It is a unique lake since here salt water and fresh water oddly coexist in harmony. It formed when a limestone sinkhole separated the lake from the ocean, open ocean. Volcanic activity beneath the surface heats the salt water trapped inside. Wow. O ocean microbaromes, the voice of the sea. Ocean microbaromes are a class of atmospheric infrasonic waves generated by colliding ocean surface waves that can propagate for thousands of kilometers. The ocean continuously radiates infrasound and acoustics. Microbarons are also known as the voice of the sea. These microbarons can be detected by sensors at the peak of 0.2 HZ. I don't know what that means, but is gravity not the same everywhere on Earth? Gravity is the force by which a planet holds everything together. But do you know that gravity isn't the same everywhere on Earth? Gravity is weaker at the equator and higher and at higher altitudes. It varies because the planet is not perfectly spherical or uniformly dense. NASA uses two spacecraft to measure these variations in Earth's gravity. Two spacecraft to measure it? Okay. I don't know. What is the ice shove phenomenon? In Wisconsin, large chunks of ice were blown onto the shore of Lake Superior in Ashland on March 24, 2021. This is known as the ice shove phenomenon. It occurs dur during the early spring months when temperatures rise and high winds break up the lake's icy surface. Strong winds and currents modulate the movement of the ice. How did this exoplanet get a new atmosphere? The planet GJ1132b, around 41 light years from Earth, was once enveloped in a thick hydrogen atmosphere, but that was lost to space due to extreme radiation from its host star. Recent observations have proved that the planet has developed a new atmosphere composed of hydrogen, cyanide, methane, and other gases due to volcanic eruptions. I don't think you want to breathe that, though. <laughs> CMEs from sun to create beautiful auroras today. Two coronal mass ejections that erupted from the sun on August 28th are headed towards the Earth. Today, the CMEs are expected to give a jolt to the Earth's magnetic field, causing a beautiful display of auroras at high altitudes. People as far south as Idaho and New York can see the auroras. Celestial events to watch out for in September. There's a lot to see in the night sky during this September. On the 9th, Moon, Venus, and Spica will form a large triangle, visible in the west-southwest sky about 40 minutes after sunset. On 17th, Jupiter's four large moons can be seen using telescopes. Full harvest moon, August season's first full moon, can be seen at 7.54 p.m. on the 20th. NASA releases images of Hurricane Ida. Look at that. NASA astronauts released images of Hurricane Ida poised over the Gulf of Mexico before landfall last weekend. The Category 4 Hurricane Ida's wind speeds of 150 miles per hour made it the fifth strongest hurricane ever to hit the U.S. mainland. Hurricane Ida hits the U.S. 16 years after Hurricane Katrina, which caused 1,800 deaths and $125 billion in damage. And well, that's it. I had another one, but it's the same one. So that's it, everybody, for today's tidbits. And that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. I'll have an Aldi haul later. And then tonight, we'll have Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. So everybody join in for that. See you later, everyone, and God bless.